Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the court date that I was supposed to appear in court? Yes. And uh, the mental health evaluation that I wanted to reschedule? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it was uh, scheduled for approximately the 3rd or 4th of September? Yeah. Approximately three weeks before the court date? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're busy at Western State Hospital. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get me the professional persons that say ooch, that I'm bipolar, schizophrenic? Yes. For knowing I shouldn't be in jail? Yes. I should not have to live with those that are violent? Nope. Because I know that I wasn't in Squam, Washington. Oh. <laughs> now, we're back to this whole problem of you arresting people that have not committed any crime. <laughs> When you refused to admit the evidence that I was sleeping at the Serenity House on December 30th to December 31st. Yes. And then uh, I left there at 6 and then I was on the bus. Yes. At 7 a.m. on December 31st. Yes. There's no possible way that being on the bus. Mm -hmm, 26. Yes. 705. Yeah. That I could be in Squim, Washington at 747 a.m. on December 31st of 2015. No possible. There is no way that I could have committed the allegation of the crime of violating the restraint provisions of the protection order. And that's a violent crime per se. Now, you cannot be on the bus, right, bus 26 and bus 20, yes, on December 31st of 2015 and be in Squim at the same fucking time right now. Now, somebody thought I was being a dick. Well, I thought you were being real assholes to make me have to do a mental health evaluation when the truth of the matter is you refuse to admit the evidence. <laughs>